The road to hell in a cell has begun, but if you're expecting an exciting show tonight, then you expect it wrong, because there's absolutely nothing announced for the pre-show. Watching Monday Night Raw legit feels like being trapped inside hell in a cell. But this is Fog Wrestling, we're going to try and make the most of what they've given us here in this preview, and it's absolutely nothing, so yeah, let's talk about it. Obviously, last night was WrestleMania Backlash. This is the Fallout show. We're on the build. We're on the way to the next pay-per-view, which is Hell in a Cell. Cody Rhodes is apparently going to get a new challenger. Now, he has been announced to face Seth Rollins tonight, but that is going to be on the pre-show. I hope to God, I mean the, the post-show, dark match. I hope to God that Cody Rhodes gets a new challenger. I do not need to see another Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins match. And I don't care if it's inside Hell in a Cell or a steel cage or a Punjabi prison. I just don't want to see it. It's as simple as that. Judgment Day last night, Edge picked up a win over AJ Styles, he added a new member, Rhea Ripley is now part of Judgment Day, and WWE say that the, the, the storyline is expected to continue, because obviously they're going to introduce Rhea Ripley to the faction, you would have to assume that AJ won't be happy about losing again, due to outside interference, so it looks like it is possible that th this storyline could continue to Hell in a Cell, maybe it could result in some sort of tag match between Edge and Damien Priest, Finn Balor and AJ Styles, or who knows, we know Rhea Ripley was in a feud with Lib Morgan, maybe Lib Morgan could get involved and we could get like some sort of mixed six person tag. Personally I don't care, this whole Edge AJ thing hasn't done it for me, and by adding in the likes of Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor, I don't think that's going to make it any better, so for me, I would all be for this thing disappearing. RK Bro. I'm assuming are going to be on tonight's show, but the bloodline are not announced. So RK Bro, I guess the whole title unification thing is down the toilet now. They're no longer going to be unifying the belts. Will RK Bro get new challengers tonight? Again, we don't know because nothing has been announced. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is all the talking points. Yeah, I mean, Lashley might be on the show. Almost might be on the show. There might be fallout from that. But in terms of the preview, there's nothing else to preview. That is it. Cody Rhodes potentially getting a new challenger. I guess the whole Kevin Owens thing will be continuing. Will Sonya Deville still be feuding with Bianca Belair? Will Becky Lynch still be feuding with um, Asuka? I don't even know if you call those rivalries, right? Everything happening on Raw at the moment isn't great. People are saying this is the best show on a weekly basis now. I don't think it is. I mean, this preview has not got me excited. So we'll see. We'll tune into Raw tonight. We'll see what happens. But personally... Uh, it doesn't look that good, guys. I'm being honest. No matches announced. No nothing announced. And pretty much we have to guess what's going to happen. And I'm going to guess the show's going to absolutely suck. So there you go. That's your preview. We'll see what happens in the, the review tonight. Till then, though, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Catch you in the next video. But until then, peace.